Good Friday morning. Today we're in 1 Peter chapter 2 and we think of ourselves as uh, uh, aliens and strangers. Listen to what Peter says. He says, Beloved, I, a I urge you as aliens and strangers to abstain from fleshly lusts which wage war against the soul. Keep your behavior, you know, excellent. Well, what's this idea of alien? You know, in, in Jewish lore and Jewish understanding, especially before the nation of Israel was founded in 1947, there was this idea of the wandering Jew never had a homeland and was always wandering around trying to make a living somewhere else. Well, Peter picks right up on that because uh, they weren't in their homeland. They were in their homeland, but they were under the rule of uh, Rome. But anyway, what does it mean for us? Well, to be a stranger and alien means you don't have citizenship where you are. Our citizenship is in heaven. That's fixed. We're on this earth for a short time. And while we're on this earth for a short time, we have a couple of responsibilities. Number one, to grow in Christ's likeness uh, day by day, uh, to be more and more like the Jesus who called us and gave his life for us. And two, to fulfill the purposes of God, which would include the Great Commission, building the church, uh, serving people, and whatever else. But he says, abstain from fleshly lust. You see, we need to abstain from anything that will not allow us to do what I just said to grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, to serve Him, and, and to prepare ourselves for heaven. And a fleshly lust might be, you might think, well, that's just something that I might do, but it could be an attitude. The idea that what I'm believing leading to what I'm doing is something that God can't be pleased with because He can't help me do that. If you're experiencing anything in your life by a willful choice that God will simply not bless, that's a fleshly lust. It could be the lust for power or whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just something that comes into our lives that God is not pleased with and God will not bless. And I think what he's saying here is, look, we're on a journey here. We're never to be at home in this world, so we can't act like the world. These things wage war against our soul. They take us away from who God wants us to be and means for us to be. And he says, don't try it. And, don't, and if you're doing it, stop it because we will never fulfill what God wants us to do. We'll never grow into what God wants us to be as long as we feed these kind of things. Examine your life today. Let's do that. Let's examine our lives today, ask the, asking the Holy Spirit, is there anything in my life that God simply cannot bless by what I think, by what I say, and what I'm doing? And if the Holy Spirit reveals that to us, let's commit today to say, I'm going to stop it or I'm not going to try it. I think if we do, our souls will be at peace and we won't have the warfare that so often accompanies, accompanies our lives. Heavenly Father, thanks for reminding us in your word that we're not citizens of this earth. This earth is, and this world against you is not something that we're a part of. We're a part of a heavenly kingdom. May we live that way and prepare our hearts that way for the day we meet you in glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.